Hi everyone, let's talk about the triple angle identities in trigonometry. The goal is the following. We want to write sine of 3 theta and cos of 3 theta as a function in terms of sine theta and this one as a function in terms of cos theta. So we want to reduce the input from 3 theta into theta and from 3 theta into theta again for cos. To achieve this goal we're going to use several trigonometric identities so I'm going to list them for you now. Firstly you are going to need the addition identities. They say that sine of x plus y is equal to sine x cos y plus cos x sine y. Uh, the cosine variant of this says that cos of x plus y is equal to cos of x cos of y minus sine of x sine of y. And we can use these to deduce the double angle identities which we're also going to use by substituting in x equals to y we get sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine x cos of x and cos of 2x is equal to there's a few ways of writing this so I'm going to write out all three of them for you firstly we have that cos of 2 of x is equal to cos square x minus sine square x but using the Pythagorean identity which says that sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1 we can also write this as 2 cos square x minus 1 and 1 minus 2 sine square x so we're going to need a whole bunch of identities to prove the triple angle identities let's say this one is 1, this one is 2, this one is 3, this one is 4, this one is 5, this one is 6, and we have 7. So we're, we're going to need 6 or 7 identities for this, so there's going to be a lot of algebraic manipulation involved. So let's see where we can go with sine of 3 theta. Sine of 3 theta can be written as sine of 2 theta plus theta and that you be using the addition identity is equal to sine of 2 theta cos theta plus cos of 2 theta sine theta and now we're going to use the double angle identities so that we can get 2 times sine theta cos square theta plus for cosine we're going to use the sine variant so we get 1 minus 2 sine square theta times sine theta and now we're going to use the Pythagorean identity on cos square so we get 2 sine theta 1 minus sine square theta and we're gonna we're gonna repeat what this is here. We're gonna expand it in the next step. One minus two sine square theta times sine theta, and that's equal to two sine theta minus two sine cube theta plus sine theta minus two sine cube theta. And now we're, now we're going to collect the terms. So we get 2 sine theta and sine theta. And we get minus 2 sine cubed minus 2 sine cubed. And that equals 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cubed theta. And that's our function in terms of sine theta. Because notice. Uh, we don't have any two thetas or, or three thetas, we just have sine theta and the cube of sine theta. 
Let's repeat the process with cos of 3 theta. We find that cos of 3 theta is, we can split it up into cos of 2 theta plus theta, and that's equal to cos of 2 theta cos of theta minus sine of 2 theta and sine of theta. Now we're going to use, so in the last step we just used the addition identity for cosine. Now we'll use the double angle identity for cosine and sine. So we, if, so we get using the cos, cosine variant 2 cos square theta minus 1 times cos theta minus 2 sine square theta cos theta and we're going to use the trigonometric identity on this sorry the um, the Pythagorean identity and that's equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 times cos theta minus 2 1 minus cos square theta cos theta now we're going to use the distributive law to expand both terms so we get 2 cos cubed theta minus cos theta and here we get minus 2 cos theta plus 2 cos cubed theta and now we're going to collect like terms so we've got 2 cos cubed here and 2 cos cubed here and we've got cos theta and minus 2 cos theta so combining like terms we get 4 cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta and that is the identity for cosine 3 theta. So we've got this identity here and previously we found this identity here. And uh, this last term is our function g in terms of cos theta since we only have the cube of cos theta and cos theta in this term. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.